Hi, I am Uma, Professor of Mathematics, Department of Science and Humanities, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this video, I will be discussing about sampling techniques. What do you mean by sampling? Why do we need for sampling? What are the steps involved in sampling and different types of sampling techniques? What is sampling? Sampling is the process of selecting a group of individuals from a population to study them and characterize the population as a whole. Population includes all members from a specified group, all possible outcomes or measurements that are of interest. The exact population will depend on the scope of study. The sample consists of some observations drawn from the population so a part of the subset of the population. The sample is the group of elements who participated in the study. Let us take an example of COVID-19 vaccine clinical trials. It is very difficult to conduct the trials on the entire population as we all know that it deals with time, money and resources. So in research methodologies, sampling is a method that helps the researchers to infer information about a population based on the results from subset of the population without having to investigate every individual. These are the conditions for a good sample to be selected. What are they? Representativeness. The sample should be the best representative of the population under study. It should be accuracy. Accuracy is defined as the degree to which the bias is absent from the sample. An accurate sample is one that exactly represents the population. The size of a good sample must be adequate and it should be reliable. Why do we need for sampling? Sampling is done to draw conclusions about populations from samples and it enables us to determine population's characteristics by directly observing only a portion of the population. Selecting a sample requires less time than selecting every item in a population. Sample selection is a cost efficient method and also analysis of a sample is less cumbersome and more practical than the analysis of the entire population. Hence it is necessary to move for sampling. Here comes what are the steps involved in sampling. I firmly believe visualizing a concept is a great way to ingrain it in your mind. So here is a step by step process of how sampling is typically done in flowchart form. Let us take an interaction of case study and apply the steps involved in sampling. I am going to consider a public opinion polls every news channel was running at the time of election. There are five steps. That's an example I will be going to deal with these five steps. Step 1 is identify and define target population. That is to carry out opinion polls, polling agencies consider only the people who are above 18 years of age and are eligible to vote in the population. Step 2 is select sampling frame. It is a list of terms or people forming a population from which sample is taken. So the sampling frame would be the list of all people whose names appear on the voter list of a constituency. Third step is choose sampling methods. Generally probability sampling methods are used because every vote has equal value and any person can be included in the sample irrespective of, of course, his caste, community or religion. Different samples are taken from different regions all over the country. Step 4 is determining sample size. It is the number of individuals or items to be taken in a sample 
that would be enough to make inferences about the population with the desired level of accuracy and precision. Larger the sample size, more accurate our inferences about the population would be. For the polls, agencies try to get as many people as of diverse backgrounds to be included in the sample as it would help in predicting number of seats a political party can win. Last step is collect the required data. Once the target population, sampling frame, sampling technique and sampling size have been established, next step is to collect the data from the sample. In opinion polls, agencies generally put questions to the people, the which political party are they going to vote for or they can ask has the previous party done any work. Based on the answers, agencies try to interpret who the people of constituency are going to vote for and approximately how many seats is a political party going to win. So these are the steps available in sampling. Now see what are the different types of sampling techniques. There are two types. One is probability sampling. The other one is a non-probability sampling. Probability sampling every element of population has an equal chance of being selected. It gives us best chance to create sample that is truly representative of the population. Some of the examples simple random sampling, systematic random sampling, stratified and cluster sampling. All this will come under probability sampling. The methods for non-probability sampling means the elements do not have an equal chance of being selected but there is a significant risk of ending up with a non-representative sample which does not produce generalizable results. The methods available are convenience, quota, judgment and snowball. As we discussed about the probability and non-probability sampling, let us see what are the differences between them. The differences are classified depends upon the definition alternatively known as population selection, nature, sample, time taken and results. In the case of definition of probability sampling, it is a sampling technique in which samples from a larger population are chosen using method based on theory of probability. Whereas in the case of non-probability sampling, sampling technique in which the researchers select samples based on researchers subjective judgment rather than random selection. Alternatively, the probability sampling methods is known as random sampling method and non-probability sampling is known as non-random sampling method. Population selection here is randomly selected and in the case of non-probability it is arbitrarily selected. The nature of probability sampling method is conclusive and here the research is exploratory in the case of non-probability sampling methods. As far as sample is concerned, since there is a method for deciding the sample, the population demographics are constantly represented. In the case of non-probability sampling, the method is arbitrary and the population demographics representation is almost skewed. Time taken if you consider it takes longer to conduct since the research design defines the selection parameters before the market research study begins. Whereas in the case of non-probability sampling method, this type of sampling method is quick since neither the sample nor selection criteria of the samples are undefined. As far as the result is concerned, in probability sampling methods, it is entirely unbiased and hence the results are unbiased to and conclusive. In the case of non-probability sampling method, it is entirely biased and hence the results are biased to rendering the re research speculative. In this video, we have discussed about the sampling technique, why do we need the sampling technique, what are the steps involved in it and also the different types involved in it. Thank you.